Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 9th May. If you don't like to see blood, I hope you are not watching the markets these days. Another bloody day for the market. I'll talk about 5 reasons which are spooking the market right now. The first one is election uncertainty. This one has come in in the last week or so only. Earlier it seemed like the current government will repeat another innings comfortably. But right now the results are looking a little uncertain. There is an air that the results may be totally different from what we generally expected. The uncertainty of not having a stable government or having a coalition is spooking the market big time. The second one is RBI and SEBI's hyperaction. Nothing wrong with what they are saying or asking for. Today also they gave ultimatum to two gold finance companies that don't give more than 20,000 cash. Absolutely the right thing to do. But this is equivalent to opening a can of camphor when the house is already on fire. The timing is fantastic. Mutual fund and DII per size. Today I miss saving the article. But I read that remittances via the mutual fund route are very low in the month of April primarily because of the KYC issues that the market is facing right now. Results season is not going as expected by the markets in general. So many stocks under PIP or a performance improvement plan. The results are not meeting markets expectations. I have said that multiple times on my channel that results are good. They are not as good as last year. The expectations are wrong. Local selling pressure, this is something I am sensing right now. Mutual fund redemption as well as cash selling pressure is slowly creeping in. People are getting jittery and afraid of a larger fall now. If mutual funds come under pressure, it will be mayhem. In just 6 days, the FII sell numbers are looking like a monthly sell number. Same with the DIA buy numbers. But DIA buy numbers are way way off. They have just bought 16,000 crores of the 23,000 crores sold by FIIs. This is causing a lot of net selling pressure. Overall in 6 days, 3,40,000 crores worth of stocks in cash bought and sold by FIIs and DIIs combined. Towards the end of this video, I'll talk about an interesting strategy I tried with options to understand the market mood, where markets are heading. Do watch it if you have time. It will be a good experience if you are not an options trader. If you thought that your portfolio reflects the fire on the left side, it may actually be just the tip of the volcano for now which is about to explode. Nifty, Bank Nifty have been red for most of the last 5 days. FIIs have sold for last 5 days. DIIs have bought for last 5 days. If you are investing money regularly by the DII route in the stock markets, then the nation should be thankful to you because A, you are paying 35% tax and B, out of the remaining 65%, you are contributing significantly towards the rescue act DIIs are playing in rescuing the financial markets. You are buying every day in a falling market. Today SBI was up, results seemed good to the market. Infosys was up a bit today, 0.5%. Rest, everything was bleeding in the top stocks. Post results, LNT crashed. The problem with LNT is because of the problem with LNT is because of the prolonged election season. Most of the order book of LNT is on standstill because government can't issue any new orders. Significant orders of LNT come from government contracts. Also, significant business of LNT is from Middle East. That entire area because of the war as well as the problem in Gulf of Aden is right now stagnant. Not too many orders coming from Middle East as well. SBI net profit up 24%. GNPA one of the lowest in the last decade. The markets loved the result. Do watch the two videos I have released today. If you want to invest into SBI, you might change your mind. Asian paints missed the guidance. Markets thrashed the results. OMCs are bleeding BPCL, HPCL. Both of them reported profits down by anywhere between 25 to 30%. Despite that, BPCL has declared a 1 is 2 1 bonus. In my videos covering HDFC, Kotak Bank, and SBI, I have talked about their huge IT issues and the lack of spending. Yesterday, Kotak talked about hiring IT positions, about 400 of them. Today, SBI said the same that they will step up the hiring in IT. I'm so glad not because my readings were right, but because the banks are finally recognizing that their IT really is in a poor condition and they need to step up the game. US markets went nowhere yesterday, NASDAQ was down a little. Yesterday, SNP and Nifty, to my knowledge, for the first time, both of them closed at 0% gains. It's a remarkable coincidence. Today also, US markets are sounding low only. Markets in US have declared firmly to their government, unless you cut the rates, we are not going to do anything on our own. Sector snapshot, I've sorted on weighted performance right now. Worst was construction engineering led by LNT, but everything was beaten down 3, 4, 5 percent. Terrible cuts if you are an investor in this sector. This is a sector that builds India. 
and today it was destroyed by 5.5% as a sector. Coal India down another 4.5%, the entire beverage pack down 4%. I can go on discussing this, but besides automobiles, there was literally no space to hide today. Tata Motors, Mahindra, Bajaj, TVS, Hero, all of them were up. The entire indice otherwise was down. Nifty 50 index, I've made some visual changes here. This table is also sorted on the percentage change. If you look at the volume pattern column, I have colored the cells where volumes are less than 90%. If you see, the fall was terrible today, but most stocks were trading on very low volumes today. This is surprising because what it indicates is there were a lot of sellers in the market, but not enough buyers. The prices kept going down, but buyers did not still come forward. This indicates future pain. Markets will fall more as per what I read from this particular column. LNT down 6%, Asian Pins down 4%, BPCL down, Coal India down, ONGC down. Most of these are victims of their recent results. Mostly the auto pack was up, SBI was up, Infosys was up. I have again sorted on the market cap now. The 70% column has got to 10 now. More stocks have shifted from 80% to 70% zone. Reliance which was nearly at lifetime high just last week is now in the 70% zone. This is the ferocity of fall in Reliance in the last 5 days. SBI near all time high after today's results. Next 50. Again if you see the volumes, very shallow volumes. 10 stocks still in the top 10% zone. 14 stocks in the 80-90% to zone. So half the indice is still in the top 80%. Nifty IT, Infosys up, HCL up, rest everything down significantly. Banks, HDFC down 3%. Big cut on high volumes. ICIC was down but on shallow volumes. SBI was up with 223% volumes. Kotak and Axis down with very low volumes. PSU banks besides SBI which was up a percent. Everything was down anywhere between 2-3%. to But again most of the bottom tier banks were very low volumes. How are my stocks doing? Today mass financial where I have significant holdings actually increased by 2% and so did data patterns. So the cuts are not that deep. 4.8% down became 5.4% down. That's okay. I'll still continue with the same portfolio. I'll take a call once the market improves a bit or falls down significantly more. For now, if the markets continue the same way, I'm thinking of arranging more ammunition for short term trading. I'll probably for a month or two increase the limit that I have set for myself. Before I jump to the options demo, just one quick piece of advice. If you need money and if you have to sell something in your portfolio, then don't sell the good stuff. Don't sell the profitable positions. Rather get rid of mistakes, the stocks you would probably not buy again. I've shown through my portfolio demo that I've done this in the last one or two weeks and I've regretted because the positions I've sold, the good ones, have actually gone up significantly when the markets recover, while the loss making ones like LTTS have remained in loss and in fact have got worsened only. One thing which happened today was the 22,000 critical support was broken. This is the most critical time for the weekly expiry. This probably means that there were a lot of people who are waiting for a reversal towards the end that the shorts will be covered hopefully. But the market players did the reverse. They squeezed the life out of those people waiting and hence market suddenly panicked and fell in a heap around this time. Breaking 22,000 was not expected at all. Yesterday I was undecided whether the market will go up or down. So I did a crazy thing. I shorted the market for today's series 9th May and I went long on the 16th May series. 22,300 levels for the long and 22,200 levels for the short side. It's okay if you don't understand these terms fully. Just be with me on the price movement part. The idea of taking position on both sides was I was totally unsure of what will happen in the morning. So as soon as the markets opened, markets were crashing down. So immediately at 9.22, I squared off the positions which were long at a loss. After that at 10.45, I was on a profit on the short position. So I sold it off. I sold at a price of 108. Then at 1.15, I usually expect a reversal. So I did a crazy thing. I bought back the call options which I had sold in the morning. 100 quantity which is 4 lots at 80.6 levels. In the morning, I had sold them at 175. If I had not squared off my losses, my capital would have got burned by 50%. After that, at 2, the markets were firm. So 
I bought 100 more, which is 4 lots more, nearly at the same price. I thought that around 230, 240, a reversal will come, a lot of shots will get covered. That did not happen at all. When markets cracked 22,000 levels, I squared off my positions at loss. But then on a hunch at 310, I went long again at 60. My expectation is tomorrow markets will open in the green, else this will be again a loss making positions in the morning. So this is what I wanted to show you. This particular option which I sold at 108, I bought that at around 50. It closed at 242 levels. Overall for the day the profit is 7000. However, this will diminish suddenly if the markets open in the red tomorrow again. I'll keep you posted on what happened. Don't try these trades at all if you are not an expert. This is not a recommendation to trade in options at all. This is just an example of how I am trying things to understand the market movements at my end. These are just experiments with 10-12 thousand kind of max losses capped. That is why I am buying options not selling right now. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.